Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Okie dokie. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah. Oh, wait. It says there's still a motherfucker in here. Oh, yeah. Let's get this bastard. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna look up all keys. Hopefully that'll appear. Let's see. Is there a key? Oh, I see. Okay. Is there a key for the farthest door on the first floor? There's a locked door near the rec room that would open up a path to the yeah. sec second floor stairs without having to go outside. Treadmill key. In the room with the weights, punching bags, there is a treadmill. Run on the treadmill oh and you'll get the God. key to the hall door just to the left of that room. Bastard! Are you kidding me? Bastard! Damn it. Well, we didn't take the time to screw around. Alright. Uh, the hall door unlocked. You won't have to run around the backside. Okay. Well. Now we know. <laughs> Yes. It's Mike, Super Short Show. <laughs> I remember that on Disney Channel. Yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> yeah. Although I didn't really watch that much Disney, but I do remember that. Oh, yeah, I watched some Disney. I, I saw, I watched a little bit of Dave the Barbarian, but looking back, that's not a very good show. <laughs> not? <laughs> eh, it's, it's not that funny. It, it's, it's a little funny, but mostly. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this room? Slug room? Uh, I don't know. Good question. Jeez. Got that green liquidy crap from uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell the audience about that? About my how I burp super loud and then I'm like, excuse me. Oh no, I just thought that was funny. You want to tell it? Uh, no, I'd rather you tell it. Okay. Uh, I was just pointing out to James, and it's not just James who does this. It's like. Everyone, myself people. included sometimes, like, it's just this thing that people do where they, they say, they'll like, burp really loud out of the blue, right? Like, uh, burp, and then they'll be like, oh, excuse me, but like, sometimes it'll just be like, silent, burp, excuse me, like, <laughs> like, they knew it was coming or some shit, and then they just like, they force it out, and then they're just like, I guess, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, whenever I burp, it's never forced. It always, sometimes just big ones come out of nowhere, and it's like, Jesus, where was that hiding? Yeet. Good God. The fuck? <laughs> the poo got away. <laughs> so, what Actually, was I supposed to even do? I think you had to freeze the, oh, you had to freeze the water. That's what I was trying to do. No, 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 you were freezing the sludge. God oh. damn it, I hate those. Oh, my buns are on fire. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta freeze that. There you go. That should work. That should work. Yeah. That should work. Maybe I have to be up high? Maybe. I don't know. Pretty sure that's what you gotta do. Maybe just hold still. Yeah, hold still. And it's doing nothing. Maybe try the sludge one more time. Just make sure you're aiming. Yeah, there you uh, go. I didn't do it for long enough. Z targeting, that would be nice. All right, you gotta get a key, I think. You sure like doing that? I know. Yeah. Well, I really, I like that ditty. Yeah, it's super catchy. I have it bound in uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive. You have it bound. What does that mean? Yeah, sometimes I'll use this program called Slam. Uh -huh. Source Live Audio Mixer. Slam. And uh, you can like play MP3 files over like the voice chat. Uh huh. So I play different songs and stuff. And not always, but sometimes. And I'll sometimes, uh, if we win around, I'll play. Uh, oh, so you can like kind of make your own little songs and. Yeah, instead of using them. the voice chat, like, hey guys, go over here. I'm like. Uh, the Benny Hill song, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get a speed up boost and you go, uh oh, a oh boy, it's a chili boy. It's a caveman. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Fuck, were you thinking, dipshit? You know what I really like about this game? What? Even though it's like a shorter of a game, 
I like, I like that. I feel like everything is very polished, and like all the puzzles, it doesn't feel repetitive in that sense. And then the game is over before it gets too repetitive. Yeah, you know, that's, it's, it's funny you say that, because that's actually, um, that's like, I think, the logic they applied to levels in classic 2D Mario games. Like, every single level is fairly short, and each level has their, its own level design and gimmick and, like, idea. And then the level's over before it gets, before the idea gets old. Yeah. And then they, like, they never use it again throughout the rest of the game. Yep, I really love, like, like, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day does that all the time, where you have, like, this one mechanic, and then you use it one time, and then it's fucking gone. Yeah, I guess. Like that racing level on the, the hoverboards over lava. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was used only once. Or, like, the peeing mechanic was only used twice. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's a lot of shit in that game that's like that. Just a one time or two time yeah, thing. Yeah, like the fucking whole Saving Private Ryan level. Like, that's so out of left field. Yeah, no, dude. That, that's actually, I think, my favorite chapter in the whole game, maybe. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like, everything in that fucking game is, like, used once. Maybe twice? Mm -hmm. Like, whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Yeetus. Oh, great. Now we go all the way to the top. Hey, floor. at least we'll be able to get the shortcut this time. Well, I mean, we'll still have to go all the way yeah, around. I know, I know. <laughs> but, yeah, no, have you ever noticed that about Conker's Bad for Day? I, I guess. I, I never thought about it that much. I love it. Hmm. Yeah, that, it's funny. That that, it, that was for a long time. That was my favorite game of all time. Like, so a lot of my friends and I will always have this conversation uh, whenever a new big game comes out. Mm -hmm. It's like, because different people justify buying a game in different ways, right? Like, if you're paying for a $60 game, most people have, like, oh, a, a standard, right, mm -hmm. for what they're willing to pay for, right? Um, but... For me, I would rather have a shorter game so long as I really enjoy the whole game and it doesn't get super repetitive, right? I mean, honestly, like as an adult and having more responsibilities, it's almost kind of nice to have something that I know, doesn't right? take up as much of your time. Dude, same. Like, okay, Final Fantasy XV is a fucking amazing game. Mm -hmm. but, and I was describing it to my friends the other day. Like, uh, every time I play that game, it just feels like I spend an hour doing almost nothing. Not because it's boring, it's there's so much like intricate detail. I'll get the treadmill. Yeah, I know. There's so much intricate detail in the game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like so much awesome shit that I'm like, oh, let me explore this. Oh, let me check out this. Oh, let me go over here. Let me do this side quest. And then I'm like, wow, I got almost nothing done, and it's been an hour. So I feel like I'm gonna spend you know fucking ages on this shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's not really a knock to the game, right? If anything, it's praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game is amazing, but as, like you just said, an adult who works, like, a full-time job, even though I don't really seem like an adult. You have an SO. Yeah, and exactly. Like, uh, and Jen and I, like, most people, like, who date for a long time, it's, like, who are pretty serious, whatever, but Jen and I have been together for, like, five and a half years or something. Like, uh... We live together, you know, we spend a lot of time together, but we only have one day a week. So, like, my Sundays are, are basically... Gen day? Yeah, gen day. Like, we go out, we go see a movie, or we go, like, a hike or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So, having that, like, the shorter game, but, like, an excellent... I think it's this one right here. Yeah. But having, like, a shorter experience, I love that. Whereas before, when I was younger, I was like, I want endless content. Games, 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 yeah. games, games. But now I'm like, ah, oh, like I, I just want, you know, a few hours where I'm really gonna enjoy it. Like this game. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, this this game's like, what, seven to ten hours? Not super long. Uh, I mean, we're probably gonna be in like six or five. You feel this why? You're blind to the life I gave my creations. Then very well. I will show you the mastery of my art. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Gonna go eat some snails, cause I'm French. What did I do? French, yeah. <gasps> so, I better not bug the sun. Like, I remember, um, what you, what you said about Final Fantasy XV, about how you can play the game for like an hour or two and feel like you've accomplished nothing. Mm -hmm. I felt that way with Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but not in a positive way. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, that, that happened to me from time to time. I mean, I guess you could argue that that's my own fault for not doing something correctly, but yeah, no, you can... You can, like, get lots of vehicle parts and 
try a bunch of missions that are that are really hard to do unless you have enough parts. Oh, these motherfuckers. That, I remember that happening once or twice and I was like, damn, okay, I haven't really accomplished much here today. Mm, okay. Actually, it's not okay. I want Banjo 3! I'm not gonna... Yeah, I mean, we got you right so this is the next best thing, probably. Yeah! I believe it's pretty good. I think ukulele was solid, but I didn't think it was great. Nah. It had some it had some well, great ideas. I would say it was great, but not amazing. Mm, yeah. Like I would give it a solid like high seven out of ten? I'd give it about seven. Yeah. And and I mean, okay, that's coming from someone who's not scared to use five out of ten. Like five out of ten is a game that I liked. Mm -hmm. And like would play more, but maybe not one that I think back on like one of my favorite games of all time. Okay. Like this game is probably yeah, for me, this would probably be a high 7. And I always give it, like, a lot of praise. I I really like this game. And that's the thing, like, my memory doesn't function really as well as yours with video games, right? Like, <laughs> you're, you're remembering, like, all this shit I had... I did not remember at all. It's ironic, because there's so much shit in real life that you're like, Okay, James, did you do this? What? I, I think it's because, like, I'm very good at remembering things in real life because it's so spatial and it's, like, actually happening. So my brain's like, oh, this is more important. I should remember this. Whereas video games, it's like, ah... You know, I'm just, I'm just playing this video game before I forget it. Or, like, movies. I always yeah. forget movies and shit. I mean, I guess it, it's not super complicated, really. There's one simple answer. It's easy to pay attention and remember over things that you care about. Yeah. Things that you care about the most are easiest to remember. Well, I mean, I care about video games a lot, but I guess I don't care about remembering them, right? I'm like, I just, they're very temporal to me. Like, if anything, I think it's a bonus if I forget about it. Like, if I remember it's a good game and forget it, then it's almost like I can play it again for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Dude, yeah. okay, I, I was also going to bring this up on this show. Have you ever played Kingdom of Amalar? No. Do you know what it is? No. Amalar. Uh, okay, well, this conversation would be very short then. That is one of my favorite fucking games of all time, but the creators, uh, or creator, uh, they asked for too much funding for the second game, so it like got denied. Oh. That, that game came out in like 2012, like a while ago. Hmm. But oh my god, that's one of my favorite games. It's basically like WoW, like World of Warcraft single player mode. Like that that's the best way I could describe it. Huh. Like an action RPG adventure game. And it's so fucking good. So is it like Fable or It's Oblivion? kinda like Fable, it's kinda like Oblivion, yeah sure, it's like all of those games, but oh, wow. it's, it's very different in its own way too. Oh, okay. It's fucking awesome. Like Kingdom of Alamar. Amalar. Amalar. Reckoning. It's the full name. Like Hand of Reckoning, something like that. If you guys have not played that game, that is fun. And you like RPGs, that is a fantastic action RPG. Is it a PC game? Uh, it's also on Xbox. Oh, okay. Xbox 360. Mm, in, oh, in 2012? Yep. Oh, so it's not for Xbox One? Nope. <gasps> oh. Okay, I think this is the final... Wait. Damn. Yep, that's the final key. But aren't I missing a room or two? Um, you're missing seven boos. Oh. Should we do that off camera then? Yes. See you later, bitches. <sighs> bonus content! Bonus content! We were told that there's a secret boo hole here, a secret mouse hole. Yeah, we're on MarioWiki.com. Apparently there's a little mouse hole. Somewhere. You said the butler's room, right? Yep, this is the butler's room, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, so... Mouse hole... Hmm. Alright, well, while you keep looking for that, I'm gonna keep looking for where that other boo is. Hyper. Dodger, Dodger. Ha. Buffon. I'm Buffon. Nice hair, Green. I guess I can hmm. double check the other secret room. Other secret room. Tell you what, I'm gonna see if there's a boo in that one. Oh, there's a boo in this one. Mm -hmm. I don't have fucking fire to do with this motherfucker. Oh no. There's no fire in here. Damn, that blows. Oh shit. How do we get the fuck out of here? Uh, uh. Maybe one of these chests will give me some fire? Uh, 
Oh god. I think we're gonna die here, boy. Oh my god. Jesus. This is poor game design. Seriously? Uh, really? You're gonna do all this, but then there's no way to actually, like. So, water will do nothing? Actually, turn Wow, that's really dumb. Alright, just kill me, nerds. They're still recording. Yep. Wow. Well, we'll come back to this room and there's a boon here, so just thought we'd share. Bye-bye. Good night.